Hi, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new, welcome to my channel. I'm Bella Stone. Today, I will be doing a comparison between the One Wheel Pint, which I will be riding, and the One Wheel XR, which Ben will be riding. A little background with me with the One Wheel. The way that I was introduced to it was that Ben he got the XR. I tried it out a few times. When I first tried it, it seemed like it would be a lot harder than it was, but it was literally just like a little balance board. A lot easier to learn than I thought it would be, especially because the wheel is flat. You learn it really quickly, but I had a problem with the weight. If I was gonna be using the XR as a mode of transportation around the city, I wanted something a lot lighter, something that I could just take on the go, no problem. And that was just a lot heavier than I thought. Maybe I'm just really weak and I need to build muscle. That's probably it, but that was just too heavy for me. Um, when, when the One Wheel Pint came out, I was really excited because it seemed to fit all the boxes that I needed. It was lighter and more affordable compared to the XR. When I first got the Pint, it was a little bit harder to learn than the XR just because it has a more curved wheel and it is a smaller board so you don't have as much foot space. With a curved wheel it seemed to be more challenging. So now I'll show you us riding in the city where I'll be talking about this tech spec in comparison. Interesting question. I'll see you there. To start the one wheel, start with your dominant foot on the front and shift your weight to the front of the board. The XR has a range of 12 to 18 miles or 19 to 29 kilometers. The Pint has a lower range of 6 to 8 miles or 10 to 13 kilometers, basically half of the XR's range. The XR goes 19 miles per hour or 30 kilometers per hour for its top speed. The Pine is pretty close to that top speed with 16 miles per hour or 26 kilometers per hour. The XR handles rockier terrain slightly better than the Pint, which makes sense due to the difference in wheel size. This isn't to say that the Pint can't handle its share of non-concrete surfaces, however, it's notable to point out that the bigger wheel on the XR is an overall more stable board, both on and off-road. Future Motion themselves, who produce the XR and the Pint, describe the XR as a tank and the Pint as a pocket rocket. Which is honestly pretty accurate. The XR feels like you can hit pretty much any bump as long as you're slightly prepped, you can manage to ride it out. The XR is a little bit harder to carve because it has a bigger board and a larger wheel. It's a lot easier in the Pine to carve because it's an overall smaller board with a smaller wheel and a more curved wheel, so it's more flexible when you're in those situations. As for the XR charging time, it takes about 110 minutes or 1 hour and 50 minutes, so about 2 hours. With the optional XR hypercharger, it would be 60 minutes total. The Pint has a slower charging time of 120 minutes or 2 hours, however it does have a faster Pint Ultra Charger that will charge it in 50 minutes. The XR can be connected to the One Wheel mobile app where it has six shaping presets as well as custom shaping. The Pint also can connect to the One Wheel mobile app, however it only has four shaping presets. For the mobile app, you have options like Sequoia, Cruise, Mission, Elevated, Delirium, and City. But you also have custom shaping options like carvability, how loose you want your board, your stance profile, which end of your board you would like higher, and how aggressive you want it. If you want to see the Pints mobile app 
configurations, just check out my previous video where I did the one wheel pint experience and I show it thoroughly there. To dismount the XR, just shift your weight to either of the front two foot sensors and it'll come to a complete stop. We also got to see a bunch of geese and they were so adorable. There were a bunch of baby ones and they just didn't seem to care that we were around. They did get pretty angry at us though when we got a little bit too close to their baby. The dimensions of the XR are as follows. The tire is 11.5 by 6.6 .6 inches. It's the Vega wheel. The XR size overall is 9.5 inches by 11.5 inches by 29.5 inches, or 241 millimeters by 292 millimeters by 750 millimeters, with a total weight of 27 pounds. The dimensions of the Pint are overall smaller compared to the XR with a tire of 10.5 by 4.6 inches. The Pint size is 8.75 inches by 10.5 inches by 27 inches or 222 millimeters by 266 millimeters by 689 millimeters with an overall weight of 23 pounds. Hello. <laughs> and whenever Mickey is around, I'm going to be having him say the goodbyes for us. So thank you for watching my video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please like below. And if you enjoyed the comparison between the models. <sighs> okay. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more, just subscribe down below as well and thank you for watching and if i didn't cover something that you had in question about the xr or the pint please let me know down below we'll see you later bye as you can see this is gonna be a pattern of him saying goodbye because he's adorable and you know it's way nicer to have him say goodbye than me all right bye <laughs>